it's October. Happy October 1st. I brought out the fall Starbucks tumbler. What do you call these? Starbucks cup. Anyways, I actually bought this the other day. I've been, I love this color. I've had my eye on this forever and it was on sale at my local Starbucks. So I bought it and it just feels appropriate. It feels like the appropriate fall glass, cup, mug, tumbler, whatever it is for the time of the year. So happy fall. There's no arguing it anymore. Some people would say September's fall. I like to hold on to summer as long as I can. So it's like a weird hybrid month. There's no arguing this one. October is, we're in fall. So some of my favorite videos to watch are fall decor, fall transition, fall prep, like those types of cozy vlogs. Um, while I'm not dressed cozy, I'm in the cozy vibe. I'm in the cozy spirit. We lit a candle this morning as you saw and we're gonna just do a ton of fall shit today. I have written a list on my phone. I wrote it last night. Let me get my phone so we can go over it together. My Sunday reset, I usually do a Sunday reset, but this is my Sunday fall reset. Now, if I'm being honest, I think I'll probably have to kind of stretch this out over two days because there's a lot in here. We're gonna get started on it today and we're gonna document it. And I hope that you have a nice beverage of choice and can get into the fall spirit with me. So this is what we're looking at today. I wrote a home, a work, and a personal. I may add a few things to this, but so far I have only, oops, posted the Morgan Wallen weekend prep vlog. Uh, this morning I had a shower, shaved, just, you know, physically sometimes it's nice. Like physically did a reset. So clean, tanned, put some makeup on, washed my bath mat. I just wanna, I want to start this new month and new season off on the right foot. So this is the way that I'm going to try and do that. So yeah, as you can see, we've got a ton of stuff to do today and we're really just gonna get started and see how far we can get by the end of today before I leave for my friend Maggie's who she's having a little fall friend get together tonight. So. I guess off we go. One little hack that I love to do, especially if I'm on a time crunch um, and I have a lot on my to-do list is the timer method. I'm not sure if you've ever, you've probably heard of it before, but it's basically you, you estimate how long a task is gonna take and then set a timer with that amount of time, see if you can finish it within that chunk. And that little bit of almost like, feels like a bit of a game to try and beat the timer really it helps it helps speed up the process and it helps everything not feel so daunting because when you break it up into chunks of time it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal right so anyways i'm gonna set some timers and let's get this fall party started this fall not a party this fall reset let's get this fall reset started doing a bunch of work stuff, uh, need to get off the computer. So I'm going to bring out the fall decor. I actually have, I do this every year. I don't remember what I have for decorations. So it's like a little surprise every single year. I wrapped them up quite nicely though. So I'm proud of myself for that one. How cute. I love these, the little um, decorative corn. 
a little pumpkin. Oh yeah, I got this at the dollar store. A little pumpkin vase thing. Cute. Another little pumpkin. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that most of these things are pumpkins. Because I love pumpkins. Yep, go figure. Another pumpkin. Oh, I do remember this. Uh, another Dollarama find. I swear, Dollarama does not do a bad job at their decor, occasionally. You kind of have to weed through the junk, but when you find a couple good things, you find a couple good things. And then there's a bunch of like acorns and things like these things. So, I thought I had way more stuff. Does that mean I have an excuse to go buy some stuff? Probably not, but maybe. I have a little whack with the acorns. Like, what do I even do with this stuff? Oh, and then I'm gonna show you. So I got these things at, these were actually this year purchases. Both of these things came from Michael's, like the art store, which they actually have quite a bit of decor. So I got those too. Now, I hate this. I hate it. I I don't I don't really know where my brain was going with that one. But I hate it. So Um I'm thinking I might just scrap that cuz I I I'm realizing that I hate all of this stuff. So maybe I'll just switch this with this and get rid of that. Okay, much better. Switched out the candle to a little bit more of a neutral one and then got rid of all the extra junk in here. So, better, I think. I am very quickly realizing that I do not know how to decorate <laughs> and that I hate all of my decor. Which means we may need to go pick up a few things. Which I'm not mad about. But I am mad about the fact that I don't know how to freaking decorate. Annoyed. Just pop these things here because I don't really know what to do with this space. And neither one of these things has have a home. So now you live right here. And you know what? You're gonna go right here too. Because I don't know what to do with you. So we're gonna go in the rule of thirds with this one. <laughs> what I think we'll do next is probably some October planning. So let's grab the calendar and start looking at some goals. Because it is three o'clock and I am supposed to, or my, um, my goal is to leave here at 4.30. So we have an hour and a half. So I have little notebooks for each kind of category of my life. One being finance, one social, no. Oh, okay. One finance, one business, and one personal. So this one is my personal one. Let me grab my finance one as well. I got these from Amazon. I'll link them if you want to check them out. I like them because they're the dotted ones, not a lined notebook. And I like that, especially if I'm doing anything that I visually want to see things look a little bit nicer. So let's look at personal, no, let's look at business first. I feel like that needs to take precedence here. Got a good start on my business, my personal, just October projections, goals, intentions, stuff like that. Um, I'm not gonna go over them in detail because that would be simply boring, but basically 
my October business goals are just like really getting ahead on the my tasks and delegation like focusing on delegation so that I'm able to be proactive instead of reactive in everything that I do and then I just kind of outlined it based on the weeks if I were to hit all my goals I worked backwards and put high level tasks in to which week I would need to complete them by in order to have achieved my goals. So that's that. Then I just really quickly, I don't know that I'm finished with this one. I think I need to kind of sit with my October personal goals a little bit more, but October is a big month for me. I am in Europe for 50% of it. I leave the 15th and I don't come back until 30th. So that's a large portion of time to be gone and there's a lot of memories in there to make. So I tried to kind of have this reflect that, but I think I have still some more work to do. Anyways, it is quarter after four and my goal was to leave here at 4.30. So I'm gonna get my stuff on, get packed up and ready to head to Maggie's and then go spend the evening with them. It's 10.30. I'm so tired. Got back from Maggie's, stopped at the grocery store. But I honestly didn't even really hang out with everybody that much because Maggie's neighbors, their indoor cat got out. And so basically I spent like an hour and a half or two hours, I'd say. I don't know, felt like that long. Might not have been that long looking for this cat. We couldn't find her, so I'm really hoping. I stopped, I don't know what happened. I blacked out and I came home with Junior Mint, Junior Mint, chocolate covered digestives and cookie dough. So, I guess I'm having a snack before bed. Mm. Monday. As predicted, this day, this this vlog is extending over more than one day, which is fine because my list of things to do were, was certainly audacious, but it's a beautiful, beautiful Monday morning. As you saw, the sunlight was just beaming in. It was gorgeous. And um, I sat down to get some work done. So one thing that I would like to do today, because in my evening last night, I was chatting with Maggie about how I was feeling super overwhelmed. Like there's a, there's just a ton of stuff that I need to get done between now and when I leave for Europe, which is October 15th, I believe. And the list is just a little bit daunting. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it daunting. So she suggested putting up like a poster and writing everything out all like, nice and color coded and then having that is like a poster on my wall that I can see visually like what I have left what I need to do and I think I'm going to take that idea but I'm going to twist it a little bit and put all of my tasks on sticky notes because I'm a sticky note gal 
I, I love them. You've seen them all over my apartment. So I think I'm going to put sticky note tasks on the wall so every time I complete one, I just take it off and I can see everything at a more high level view and not feel so overwhelmed. So that's what we're gonna do first things first this morning. Then we're gonna dive into the task. Also, one thing I didn't show was I changed, this was like my vision board um, computer background and actually one of my phone backgrounds. I just converted it to the phone format. But I did a little update and now we've got our fall version. So just a few little changes make it feel a little bit more festive. So that was one little thing that I did yesterday that I didn't show you, but fall transition. Look at her, she's so pretty. And I'm thinking, contemplating, going to a spin class. Now, I do want to. I'm just seeing if I can find something to eat. I do want to go to the spin class. I just feel a little bit on a roll with the work. And it's one of those things where like, you have to sign up for the class. So if I sign up for it and book my spot, I'm committed. And I, I don't know. I don't want to keep on this roll and then break it and then end up coming back feeling tired and not being in a good working zone. Oh, I think it's going to be a cliff bar for food. I got my wall. Mm. I didn't show you. Here's my wall so far. I got my projects, subtasks, sorry, probably, I gotta stop chewing one second. There's nothing worse than listening to someone chew, so I will save you from that. Got my major projects, the subtasks, and then here's where I'm just kind of collectively adding in all my smaller tasks. Not necessarily smaller, but tasks that are individual and not associated with a major project. I'm loving this. I think it's such a great idea to be able to keep everything organized and visual, and I'm just gonna keep adding to it and taking things away until it's time to Leave for the trip. Bike 30 or bike four, what do we want to do? What do we want to do, people? Let's do bike four. Well, I guess we're serious about it today. I've decided to oil my scalp so that when I come back and shower, I can wash my hair because my scalp's been feeling kind of just dry and itchy and just a little bit irritated lately, so hopefully this will help. But I was just voice memoing my friend back and forth. This is how we communicate. It's like a little podcast with your best friend. Um, also, I got this at uh, HomeSense. Love it. It smells incredible, and I find it does wonders for my hair. Anyways, I, we're just talking about boys. <laughs> Cause we're two single gals. So I was talking to her and I was like, I am, I keep contemplating like, mm, you know, it is fall, it's cuffing season. Like it's been almost five months. Maybe I should hop on one of the apps and just see what's out there. And then I was like, but you know what? Do you know how nice it is to wake up every day and not have to worry about like, oh, I had this date, or is this guy gonna text me, or he didn't text me, or like, you know, just worrying about drama. I have, I have zero drama in my life, like literally none, and it is the best feeling in the world. I'm like, this is 27. This is straight up me living my 27 year old dream because I don't have a lick of drama in my life. I'm like, you know what? I don't think I wanna mess with that. I'm really liking the fact that I have literally no 
drama happening in my world. Protect your peace. Unless I'm like really serious about potentially finding someone, I'm just gonna protect my peace and live in this amazing drama-free world that I don't have to worry about anything other than what I wanna do. Talk about a change in personality because I used to be the girl who just like I loved I I loved I love being in a relationship I really do still like there's no question about it I am a relationship girly but for the first time in my life I feel so good about where I am in my single life just wanted to give you that little update that no one asked for and basically say that if you are struggling with being single right now and you're like getting over a heartbreak like give it time give yourself the space to heal it will happen that you'll wake up one day and realize that life can be great and fulfilling and you can spend time with people that you love even if it's not in a relationship thank you for coming to my ted talk i think i'm just gonna braid this <laughs> Wow, so glad I ended up doing that. I feel so good. That class was incredible. If you live in or around Halifax and have a chance to go to a spin class or go to Spin Co and you haven't already been to Lisa, which I'm sure you have because who hasn't? She's incredible. Uh, do it. That was wild and exactly what my heart needed. She also gave me the sweetest little shout out during the class. I had posted on Instagram just about doing things in solitude and making the memories even if you don't have a boyfriend, don't have like the group of friends or you wait on those things in order to do the cute little date ideas or make the little memories and just how important it is to do them anyway. Like make the blanket for it. Do the things. And she mentioned that in this spin class and gave me just the nicest nicest little shout out so Lisa if you're watching this love ya thank you for that and wow if that didn't solidify that I need to do a better job of going to spin classes it's now solidified <laughs> Whew, okay it's hot in here I gotta go back up I decided to park outside because it's such a nice day and um keep on trucking <laughs> guest here joining us today yeah it's almost five o'clock on friday afternoon i have just been working away like crazy this week and mm. i've got hair everywhere and i want to show you the few little things that i got at home sense not home sense from winners because i was really not happy with my fall decor and i just feel like i i want a couple timeless things that you know I can bring out every season and really like it so I actually got three little hand towels just like an orange pattern of hand towels I'm gonna put one in the kitchen here and one in the bathroom they were fall without being like 
Halloween, you know what I mean? And I think that's my distinction between what I want, is I don't want it to be Halloween, I want it to be fall. What else did I buy? Okay, so I only bought, I did buy two other things and then I bought like a hair product, which is not fall, so. Oh, I didn't have any fall smelling candles and this, this is called Crisp Morning Leaves and yeah, so yummy. And then the second one that I got is just a Sand and Fog uh, Teakwood. This reminds me, oh, oh no, there's no, uh oh, there's no stem on it. I wonder if I can fix that. Anyways, it's just like a mm, warm, like wintry, cozy, almost like, it's a very masculine, very masculine scent. So those are the two candles I got and then just these little things. So that's, uh, you know, just a few little things plus the real, like the, the gourds and pumpkins. I thought that was a nice little addition. And probably all I will do for fall this year because I'm literally spending 50% of October in a different and on a different continent and in a different country. So I won't even be home to enjoy it. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but man, there are some serious sirens. We have a teeny flame. A teeny, teeny, tiny flame. Love it. 